The Caribbean is a region that is located in the tropics. Many people from all over the world visit the Caribbean to enjoy the warm climate, the white sandy beaches, other natural attractions, and the culture of the various islands. However, if there is one thing that us locals know, it's that the days are hot. This year, there are above average temperatures globally and decreased rainfall in many areas, creating droughts which, when extreme, can have an adverse chain reaction. What do I mean by this? Well, water restrictions come into play, livelihoods are disrupted, rivers also dry up which limits irrigation, crops start withering, you get the picture. As my high school physics teacher would say, let's now get into the meat and potatoes of the video. The word cold may be subjective, as one person may find 22 degrees Celsius cold, while another might find it's cool or even warm. So the real question is, will there be below average temperatures in the Caribbean this winter? We know that the region is warm all year round, but during the winter period, temperatures may become cooler which many of us welcome. Earth is nearly spherical in shape, and the equator receives most of the sun's rays. So as we can decipher, the further one travels either to the north or south pole away from the equator, as much of the sun's intense rays and energy don't make it there, and that is why those areas experience frigid temperatures. Let's head back to the Caribbean. As I stated at the start of the video, we are located in the tropics which is generally warm. During the summertime and even into early fall, the warmer temperatures allow for more atmospheric instability which causes thunderstorm development, tropical waves which travel further west and may bring rainfall, and some may even develop into tropical cyclones. As we head into December and in the months that follow, that kind of activity decreases as the atmosphere becomes more stable. However, that is not true for everyone as a particular type of weather phenomenon becomes more frequent which can also result in temperature dips across parts of the Caribbean. Before we continue, here's a fun geo question. Look at it very carefully. Think about the answer and save it as it will be discussed at the end of the video. The question is, on which Caribbean island is the highest mountain peak, Pico Duarte, found? The name is a hint. Take a guess and stay tuned for the answer, but let's return to the video now. So what weather system is responsible for occasional decreases in temperature and even stormy weather in some cases across parts of the Caribbean? Well, those are cold fronts. Many of us may be familiar with the name, but how about the formation and will they be strong this winter? First, we're looking at the formation. Further up north in latitude, there is the country of Canada, and due to its location, it is very cold. As we discussed earlier, the closer we travel to the poles, less and less heat energy reaches those areas. Sometimes, a mass of very cold, dry air dips from Canada and into the US. In the winter time, temperatures remain pretty warm across much of the tropics and it isn't long before that mass of cold, dry air meets warm, moist air. Where these two air masses meet, a cold front forms. Cold air is denser than warm air, so that warm air rises above the cold air right at the boundary where they meet. That rise in air motion is what causes instability. If you remember from earlier, I mentioned that instability causes thunderstorms and that is what happens right at that boundary. A lot of thunderstorm activity is generated which causes severe weather in parts of the US but as that cold air continues moving out of the US, so does all the thunderstorm activity associated with it which may reach as far as the Yucatan Peninsula of Central America, Cuba, the Bahamas, Jamaica and sometimes may even travel further down into the Caribbean. This process however won't go on and on because the fronts eventually weaken and dissipate. However, 
the aforementioned areas will have a pretty good shot at experiencing below average temperatures this winter and even periods of heavy rainfall and stormy weather and there could even be stronger fronts this season since the pattern may allow for that mass of cold air to dip a bit further south and so that boundary will also dip further south creating that higher chance of chilly stormy weather for the northwest caribbean Hopefully that will be the case because many of us are in dire need of a decent cooldown. Unfortunately for Eastern Islands and especially Southeast Islands such as Aruba, Bonaire and Curaçao, Grenada, Trinidad and Tobago, it will likely be pretty dry with periods of little rainfall activity as a more stable pattern is likely to persist in the area. As always, I will keep you posted on my main channel Weather Girl Danny with consistent updates on weather activity in the region. Now let's head back to the question I asked earlier. You may have guessed that Pico Duarte is on an island where people speak Spanish as it is hinted in the name, but did you guess the correct one? If you still have no idea, here is a list of 4 options to choose from. A. Cuba, B, the Dominican Republic, C, Puerto Rico, and D, Hispaniola. If you guessed the Dominican Republic, you are wrong but close. The answer is Hispaniola. Congratulations if you got it correct. Hispaniola is an island but not a country but it is divided into two countries Haiti in the west and the Dominican Republic in the east where the mountain is found sitting at a height of over 10,000 feet above sea level in the western side of the Dominican Republic and covered in pine forests is Pico Duarte the climate of the mountain contrasts the typical warm weather of the Caribbean due to its elevation why? Temperatures decrease with an increase in height or altitude. On some winter nights, temperatures may even drop below freezing point of 0 degrees Celsius. Pretty chilly. So I hope that you learned something new in this video and you can share with your friends and colleagues to let them know what could be on the horizon for the upcoming winter season and so that they can also be informed. Have a wonderful rest of day. And remember to always be weatherwise.